Hello and welcome, I'm Nick Friend, this is the Cricketers. So we'll run down the first five days of this Women's T20 World Cup. It's obviously seen, we've seen two shock defeats, one for England, one for Australia. We've seen a record crowd in Australia for a women's international game. That first game against India at the Sydney Showground. And then of course we've seen Shafali Verma, the emergence of this 16 year old I guess wonder kid to a point. We knew about her beforehand, but she's really sort of catapulted herself on, onto, the, onto the global stage in the last in the last week with the way she's hit the ball more than anything. Not so much the runs she scored, but, but the power, the, the fearlessness, the way she's gone about her work. Um, she was crucial obviously in that win over Australia on a pitch that sort of very few players got to grips with with the, with the bat and similarly against Bangladesh a few, a few days later she, she hits strong, she hits clean through the offside, dead straight, she'll take you over the leg side as well, she's, she's really announced herself and we're going to hear obviously far more about I mean, this 16 year old the next potentially two decades. Um, England as well obviously we've seen lose to, lose to South Africa who were, who were tremendously impressive, we've seen obviously Van Nierkirk. Merits like Cap, two players we know a huge amount about, two players who perhaps haven't shocked us with what they've done. The shock more was more, I guess, was how much England struggled with the bat and then perhaps with the ball at stages as well, and certainly in the field. So they've got a huge game coming up on Wednesday against Thailand. They know that they need to win that just to just sustain the competition, let alone get themselves off to off and running. Um, but that is where England stand now, that's where Australia stand as well. They can't afford any more slip ups. This is such a tough tournament we've seen the way New Zealand are playing under Sophie Devine, the way that South Africa came out against England, India, two from two. The West Indies and their win against Thailand, there's, there's so much depth in this competition that if you slip up, you're going to be in trouble. So England and Australia, they know they can win this tournament, know they can still meet in that, that final, very possibly at the MCG, very possibly in front of 90,000 people, but they'll need to go, I guess, without a slip up. Into between now and then, they've got games and they've got to go win, 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 win to get there. Um, it's going to be tough for them because, as we've seen, there's, there's a lot of depth even in Thailand, you know, unlikely to you think to cause an upset against England, certainly look the part with the ball really in, the, in the field. Um, so I guess that's what we've got to look forward to. The West Indies will take on Pakistan and begin their campaign tomorrow as well. We've got another good week to look forward to. It's been a really exciting start.